everybody, it's your boy Jimmy. Um, yeah, I have my reaction to the fight and everything. J. Paul won pretty much as anyone has expected. Um, not too convincingly, in my opinion. I think it was quite weak on the offense. So it was, I don't know how these guys are uploading the fight. I think they'll, they'll be, these videos will probably get taken down soon. But yeah, you can see from here, J. Paul won. And there was a particularly good shot by Jake Paul, the left hook. He was really spamming the left hook the entire time. It was a good left hook, but um, it was a good left hook. I was straight on the temple that rocked uh, Nate and also sent him down into the canvas, which is quite funny to look at. Um, it was it was interesting, to say the least. It was an interesting fight. I kind of just, my entire one hour reaction video of the fight kind of just dismantled and turned into nothing because. Uh, the fight is under copyright protection. Jake Paul won the fight. Just, yeah, that's it. I don't know what else to tell you. Just Jake Paul won the fight. Um, in my opinion, it was, he took a lot of damage by Nate in place where he shouldn't take damage. He didn't really exploit. He didn't really exploit Nate's amateur boxing. It's amateur weaknesses. It was every single time Nate pushed forward with the uh, guard up, turtling up, he left his body open, which Jake Paul could have capitalized on with the lever shots, but he really didn't do that. I think he threw like just a few lever shots the entire time. It was head hunting the entire time, which you can't really do with Nate because he's an insane cardio machine. Even though Jake has power, it's just um, can't really do that with Nate. Yeah, it's just it's weird. That's dope. Crazy guys, nice video. I wish I could, I wish I could include the content in this video as well to spice it up, but I can't. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my live reaction. Very amateurish from both sides. In my opinion, J. Paul needs to seriously hit, like, fucking study, hit the books, and then really needs to analyze his footage again if he wants to try to become world champion one day. Because becoming a world champion is no, no easy task. It's no, it's no easy feat. And of course, George Foreman did it when he was 45. But George Foreman already had a, like a, bo a background in boxing. He already had that boxing IQ. Jake Paul was really lacking the boxing IQ. Where every single time he would go Philly Shell, he would push Philly Shell and look head down and remove his eyesight, his eye line from his opponent, which was Nate. And because of that, and not because of him not leading, making his um, hands active, this resulted in him taking too much damage for no absolute fucking reason. Which resulted in, in I don't say, less spectacular finish. He would go like this, maybe similar, maybe similar to that. But then he would take shots here, take shots here, take shots here. Like that's what I've been seeing from the most part of the fight, and it's, um, it's quite annoying to see because like this amateur mistake shouldn't be a thing, especially in his um, eighth professional fight, I believe. He's seven one now because of the fight. Yeah, it's just in my opinion, it's just it's um. It's incredibly, incredibly amateur, it's just incredibly dumb. And of course, he did boxing for three years and he's 23. He's 20, no, he's 26 now, and he started when he was 23, of course. But like, come on, man, you gotta like, you gotta fucking analyze yourself. But I would say though, Jake is still the best um, YouTube boxer around. He lost Tommy Fury, but Tommy Fury is a professional. Um, he would probably beat KSI. You know, I really like KSI, he probably would beat KSI. At this very moment, uh, it was a, yeah. In case I was right, the performance was terrible. I just tweeted it. Yeah, it's just oh, it's, fucking, it's, fucking, it's fucking dumb, man. It's fucking dumb. The entire shit is dumb, brother. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. What else can I say? Peace.